Tonight at 6.30, a National 9 News special covering the tragic death of Princess Diana, followed by 60 Minutes with a special report on the paparazzi's role in Diana's death. This is National 9 News with Peter Hitchener. Shock and disbelief following the death of Princess Diana and her boyfriend in a high-speed car crash in Paris. Good evening. The world has been rocked by the death of Diana, Princess of Wales. She died in a Paris hospital after the car accident, which also killed her friend Dodi al Fayed and their driver. European correspondent Daniel Bride begins our coverage. French police rushed to the accident in central Paris just after midnight, unaware inside the mangled wreckage, arguably the most famous woman in the world. Diana, Princess of Wales, was in the back seat of the Mercedes-Benz with her new companion, the millionaire Dodi El Fayed. Some witnesses reported the car was being pursued at speed by photographers on motorcycles just before it crashed in an underpass not far from the Eiffel Tower. I was one of the first three people in the tunnel to... Um... The driver was unconscious, um, sounding the horn for like probably almost two minutes. Saw a large blue Mercedes, darker blue. We didn't know who it was at the time. Um, somebody came running towards us, speaking French, shouting in French, and we thought for some reason it was going to blow up in the tunnel. Police quickly confirmed Dodi El Fayed and the car's driver had been killed instantly, a bodyguard seriously injured. Rescuers took more than an hour to cut Diana from the wreckage, but early reports suggested she had just a broken arm, cuts and concussion. It seemed a miraculous escape considering the shocking twisted remains of the car. But then at the hospital where she was being treated, the news that sent shock around the world. Tonight's accident is a terrible tragedy. The death of the Princess of Wales fills us all with deep shock and with deep grief. Doctors said Diana had suffered serious internal injuries. They'd battled desperately, but she died of a lung hemorrhage four hours after the crash. The Princess of Wales officially pronounced dead just before one o'clock Australian time this afternoon. I am greatly shocked by this news. Our first thoughts must be with her children and with her family at this time of immense loss to them. Diana and Dodie, constant companions in recent months, had just arrived in Paris earlier in the day and dined at the Ritz Hotel, owned along with Harrods by Dodie's father, Mohammed El Fayed. The two were followed when they left. Their driver, also killed, had been a security guard at the hotel. French police, suddenly faced with a mammoth investigation, immediately detained seven paparazzi and impounded several of their motorcycles. They are now being questioned about claims they were involved in a high-speed pursuit of the princess, but some even took photographs just seconds after the smash. One was reportedly bashed by shocked onlookers. France has strict laws protecting the privacy of individuals. It's been suggested already that if police can prove the photographers in any way contributed to the accident, it's possible manslaughter charges may be laid. For now, though, Britain and millions around the world who adored her are battling to believe it is true. Diana, the fairy tale princess, tragically dead. Daniel Blyde, National 9 News, London. It's now just after nine o'clock Sunday morning in Britain and churches across the United Kingdom have begun filling with mourners, stunned and saddened by Diana's death. Mark Burrows has that report. Disbelief and shock as Britain woke this morning to the devastating news. This is BBC television from London. Diana, Princess of Wales, has died after a car crash in Paris. The French ambassador called to inform the royal family at their holiday retreat in Balmoral. Prince Charles waking his sons William and Harry to tell them their mother was dead. He and the Queen issued a joint statement saying they were deeply shocked and distressed by this terrible news. In London, a sombre crowd gathered outside Diana's home, Kensington Palace. Stunned, really shocked and very sad. I couldn't believe it. And around the city, realisation that the Princess of Wales had literally been hounded to death. Yeah, absolutely heartbroken, you know. She's um, a great lady who's died. I, can't, I still can't believe it, you know. It's just really sad news. 
It's going to have a massive shockwave through the whole of England for years to come. She's, um, oh, she's, nice. I can't believe it, you know. Yeah. What's your reaction to hearing this news? Well, I'm totally devastated, you know. It's uh, very sad news for the whole of the country. Prime Minister Tony Blair was told of the crash in the early hours and kept informed as the dreadful events unfolded. He described Diana as a warm and compassionate person who will be mourned as a friend. I'm gutted, mate. When she's there, she's, she's royal, isn't she? She's the mother to the future king. For more than a decade and a half, the British public have eagerly lapped up every facet of Diana's life fed to them by the newspapers here. But considering the apparent involvement of the paparazzi in Diana's death, the relationship between the media and the British people is surely about to change. Mark Burroughs, National 9 News, London. Diana was the most photographed woman in the world, and one group of people who'll come under attack following this tragedy is the paparazzi. The magazine and newspaper photographers relentlessly pursued her from the moment she met Prince Charles until it seems the very end. Here's Michael Usher. For 16 years, the world's most photographed woman has been dodging the paparazzi, from the days as a blushing bride to her troubled 15-year marriage to Prince Charles. A camera has never been far away. Bob. Only a year ago, a graphic example of the toll of the photographer's unrelenting pressure. Diana stalked as she left a session with her psychotherapist, then driven to tears as she tried to get inside her car. On a ski holiday in Austria, the frustration was clearly evident as Diana issued a plea for restraint. As a parent, could I ask you to respect my children's space? No such luck. Diana was pursued with even more vigour. It led her in 1995 to cancel many of her public duties and abandon her security guards. I hope you can find it in your hearts to understand and to give me the time and space that has been lacking in recent years. And as recently as July, the paparazzi whipped into yet another frenzy, this time Diana's very public romance with Dodi Fayed. Three holidays together in the past month, the princess comfortable, relaxed, and for the first time in a long while, happy. For so long, Diana had sought peace with pursuing photographers, but now the bitter irony. Diana is dead, but her story will not die with her. Lady Diana, kindergarten teacher, princess, mother, and enigma. The obsession many held for this beautiful woman is unlikely to end. Michael Usher, National 9 News, London. From the moment a young Diana Spencer became engaged to Prince Charles, her life became public property. It was a dramatic change for the preschool teacher thrust into the limelight to become the world's so-called fairy tale princess. Mark Ferguson compiled this tribute.